Okay, so today I'm going to make this like simple to-do list where you can have check boxes, date, and you can enter your task. So we're going to create it from scratch. So I plan to use this spreadsheet for like everything I do. So I'm just going to give it like some awesome name. Yeah, okay, so first what we need to do, we need to set like our canvas. So we only need the first three columns. So we wanna get rid of the rest. So I'm gonna highlight the D column and then press Control, Shift, right arrow key to select this portion and then delete these columns. So now I'm left with A, B, C and I only need around like 50 uh, rows. So I'm gonna click on this and press Control, Shift, down arrow then right click and delete row 51 to 1000. So now I got my canvas set up. So first I am going to write to do because that's what it's going to be called. And then I want to set the headers for the to do list. So first it's going to be the check box. So there's no check symbol on your like your keyboard. So how to get it is use the command char. Then you type in 100003. Oh. One to many zeros. Okay, like just like that. Then you get the check mark. Okay. Then we also need the date and the task. Okay. Then now, since we're already here, we might as well do some formatting. So I'm going to select the whole spreadsheet with Control A. And then I'm going to change the font to Roboto because it looks just a little bit better than normal Arial. I'm going to change this to size 20. I'm going to change this to size 11 and I'm going to bold it to make it stand out. Then next, I want to add some color to this spreadsheet. So the two colors that I'm going to use is going to be this light green color. And then for this header, I'm going to use darker green color. So now we got the colors going, but right now the, the grid lines look kind of weird. So I want to get rid of that. So I can go to view and click on grid lines, to get rid of the grid lines. But now you can't really see like where the rows are. So what I'm going to do is highlight this column, press control shift down, and I'm going to go to borders. And I want a dotted line border. That's not black, but something that's gray. And then click horizontal borders. So now we have something like this. Now I want to make it a little bit bigger. So instead of just doing one by one, just like that, what you can do is select all the rows and then now you can extend it and they will all extend at the, the same size. So I'm going to leave it somewhere like that. Then one more thing I'm going to do here is change the font color to white. Yeah, and that looks a lot better now. So first things first, I'm the realist. I'm going to add the check boxes here. So what you do for that is you select this whole column. So you can drag or do the control shift method. And then I'm going to go to data and go to data validation. Now I'm going to add a checkbox, then save. So now we got a checkbox for each one. Then while we're here, we're going to change this such that it's lined in the center. So that looks a little better. And for this one as well, I'm also going to change that to align the center. And I'm just going to change the size of the check date and make the task bigger. Okay, it looks better. So now I'm going to put some example task into here. So now that I've entered some data, your data might look a little bit different in terms of the format. So what I want to do is standardize it. So for the date, I want to select this whole date column and I want to centralize the date. And I want it to also centralize vertically. So you can come to a vertical align, select center, and now the date will move up. Then for the task column, I want to vertically align as well, but I'm not too worried about the horizontal alignment. I'm fine with the left side alignment. So now I'm just going to format this a little bit to make it look a little bit better. So now I have a to-do list where I can easily add like a new task. Let's say I want to add something for let's say 12 December and let's say take the dog to the vet. Yes. When I'm done with it, I can just click the checkbox so that I know that I'm done with that task and I don't have to worry about it. And the last thing I forgot to mention is that if you want to scroll and keep this displayed at all times, you need to freeze the row. So how you do that is you come here, you click and drag this bar down to wherever you want to freeze. And now when I scroll, these rows will always appear. So in the future, I plan to add more things to this, but for now, 
this is what I got going on. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and see you in the next one. Thank you.